G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Back out this session with my son Blaze back there and my cousin Disciple. Setting the pots, we're uh, yeah, gonna soak the pots. We're gonna head up the creek, we're gonna put four out here for some sandies, go put some up the creek for some muddies, and then troll for flathead, chase some brims. Yeah. See how we go, see what the day brings. And yeah, let's do it. My oldest. <laughs> Don't blunt that knife, yeah, that's a good knife. Do it on the carpet, maybe. You got the room down there. <laughs> It's all right when it you notice though. Oh yes. You gotta notice these yeah, things. Right. Yeah, where's this knife at? Well, I've got it down here still. Oh, it's hard to get good crabbing help, Blaze. <coughs> you haven't rinsed these ones yet. Oh, let's give them a quick rinse. <laughs> I'm their captain now. Yeah, throw one here somewhere. Because it's someone's old one and hasn't been taken out. I tried to pull it up, can't even get off the bottom. Snakes? Well, it's just grown in. Part of the crew, part of the ship. Part of the crew, part of the ship. Yeah, you can probably throw that if you want, Cybal. Really? Yep. Seagrass haven up here, isn't it? Still a lot of flow pushing it up here. Yeah, both sides. Uh, clip them on in the middle of the mesh here, not where the entrance is. What? <laughs> oh, you can just throw it straight out there. Yeah. Yeah. Put one far up in the middle. You want it sort of in a bit of water when the goes. Yeah, it'd be nice if we can reach it. Oh, they'll come out to it. Hey? You mean us or them? Us. Yeah, we'll be able to get to it later. Tomorrow, yeah. same time. Just there? Yep. Oh, no, I'm in a bit in the deep water. Did you want to put it in any shallow? Look how shallow it is. It's just sticking out. <laughs> yeah, that's the spot, though. That's the spot. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Some money you set them in the deep holes where you set them. That's really nice. That's the deepest part right here. Oh, where's the deepest part? No, that's where you want one up here. That's See, if you're smart, you'd be the first person to put your leg on so the other person has to struggle with the pressure. It's upside, yeah, make sure you get it the right way around. All right, pots are out. Uh, we've just pulled up on the bank for a second here. Uncle Laz has gone for a walk. Drop the 2.8 meters. <laughs> and we're gonna go do some flathead troll next. So that's uh, that's the next plan. <laughs> Head up towards the glass house mountains in the background there and see if we can't get a flathead. <laughs> Well, I suppose we'll get a rod out, eh? Oh, it's the rods. Yeah. Check, check yeah, your own drag. Right, All right, let's go. We're going to go trolling here. Oh, we're actually going. Yep, we're doing this. This is how we do it now. Oh, you're on. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, it looks like, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Got a fish? Yeah, it's a fish. <laughs> fish on, lads. He's into them. Oh, I thought it was going to be a three metery for a second there. 
I look. I reckon you can round it up. You can round it up. It looks like it. Oh, you gotta get your fish off now, mate. I don't. I, I, I don't. Rule number one: Don't get a lure in you, right? It's a long way back to shore. So how am I grabbing this thing? Yeah, right. back here? yeah just like this. Oh, on the bottom. There's always going to be the dorsal spikes. And there's always going to be gill raker spikes here and a bit. But yeah, you just get him there. Kiss your fish. Oh, he's floating. Hey. Yeah, you said that. The high drum on holidays. Told you would be dirty, Blaze. You wouldn't know what it's all been. Where's my razy brands? I run razy brands. I don't want a razy bear. I want to have a razy Friday. He sharded himself. That way it's done. Yeah, I'm turning back around, straightening up. If we don't get a fish trolling here soon, we might have to just start casting some of these drop offs. It's not doing it for us, yeah? Brings them in. Change of plans, children. All right, we're ripping off the troll lures. We're just going to some soft plastic fishing. Quarter ounce, three inch baits, variety of baits. And that's gonna make all the difference. So I'm told. There you go, YouTube. There you go, YouTube, YouTube tubers. There you go, look at that. That'll catch flathead. Oh, he's a thick one, isn't he? Like your old man. Up on that edge, mate, it's where those 2.8s will be. I'm passing over the other side, but, and then driving across it. Okay. Check your drags, you want to make sure it's going to set the hook on them. Yeah, we'll just leave it there. Yeah, you want to set it there? Yeah, it's not going to set the hook on them. Yeah, well, just let me, you want to set the hook. You don't want it to concede line when you set the hook. Yeah. It needs to be firm, not weak to piss. Just keep an eye out for um, flathead spooking. At least get an idea if there's fish up here. Oh, what was that taking off? The puff of sand there. That's three good ones we've spooked now. Do you like my help, son? You kind of know I know what I'm talking about, eh? Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. I don't have nails either, that's what I'm saying. There is a trick to it. You gotta back off the pressure from down here. So you've got loose line. And then they just flip over. I think I got that one on film, Cybel. This is where I should get one here. Broken weed next to sand. There should be a flathead along here. Oh, what was that? We spooked. Did you see it? Something comes swimming out. Hit. Slow down, let me pick it up. Just stop it. Open your bail a bit, let him just pick it up. Sometimes they just swim right over to it and it sits there and they just go. Come on, boys, we need a flathead. The longer, oh, did you see it follow my lure? It was a flathead. He followed it right up. All right, so that tells me that they're not convinced on that color. He followed that the whole way, man. He was a keeper too, Cyborg. Big tail, blue on him and everything. All right, I've gone to the old crazy color, electric chicken. We need to um, figure out how to catch fish or something, eh? Yeah. All right, well, time we've drifted this flat, it's time to go on to uh, plan B. And afternoon, man, it's moon above, afternoon bite. It's, we should be out here this Arvo having a flick. Because we had to put the pots out, so. We're trying to make them do with what we can do. Oh, oh, fish on. Do you have one? Look like you had one. Just didn't set the hook on it, Cyphal. 
Now Santa tells me what's on the bottom and uh, any fish in the water column. It tells me how much of a wank a cypher is too. Cypher is a dickhead. We'll get crabs. change of plans we've uh, had no success out on the flats on the flathead so we've come up the canal boys are throwing uh, lightly weighted bps on 120th and i've got a crank crab tied on so let's see if we can't get a brim oh, well clearly no one said anything clearly no one said anything did they yes I, oh you had him that's trash, man. That's trash. You had him, Cyphal. Yeah, he got to set the hook. Got to strike at least. He didn't even... Well, at least we know they're on the chew, Cyphal. Get out of there. No, you're in rope. For sake, here we go. This is the start of it, isn't it? <laughs> Once you're out there, Cypher, you're in no man's land. You want to get back in, let it slowly sink all the way down to the bottom. Land close, let it sink to the bottom. Or you'll see your line tick on the way down. Where'd the flow go? No fly up here whatsoever. Oh, look at that big thing coming out for it, man. What was that? It was huge. Wasn't a brim. That was massive. massive. Well, that had a big head on it. That's a Trevally or something there. Oh, look at them coming through there. They're Trevally, are they? Well, they just a huge school of fish just charged yeah, through. You knew you were close and you. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. No, you can do it gently, poke it off. It takes a very special kind of person to do that. Just stop, don't hit into shit. Just stop. I can't drive here. You gotta stop. <laughs> I wouldn't call what you're doing fishing, but. Snagging. Snagging, Yeah, you're out here. You're in the boat. You're right there. I'll go the unweighted and I'll show you what happens. So I thought you didn't want to do it. What's oh, gonna happen? I'll catch a brim. Oh. Oh, you to set past, past it, past. No. He's a bit slow. man. You'll get them. He's slow, buddy. He's a bit fire. And they'll bust you off, but you'll get them. Okay. Don't bang. Back of the pontoon side, near the white pole. Oh, he's bloody bang on. Oh, lads. The thing about fishing is, cycles, you've got to get it close to be snagged sometimes, mate. Yeah, well, I get pissed when you put it 10 foot up a pontoon. Like, I clearly realise that it's going 10 foot up a pontoon and stop it before it gets there. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. He's looking at it. Yep. <laughs> oh mate, that's just great. Oh, he comes charging out, man. Eyeballed it. How cool is that? Unweighted BP man for the win. Telling you, Cyple. <laughs> oh dear. Come here, buddy. So we land him with a new net, get some use out of it, eh? Oh, flex on him. He's not a bad brim, boys. Yeah, he's not a bad brims at all. Here we go, we made it up into the canals, gave up on the flathead, started chasing brim and can't resist it. Unweighted BP, BP 50, that one. Yeah, there you go, brim fishing. It's easy, I don't know why everyone doesn't do it. All right, did you see how easy that was? Yeah, 
So you just see it slowly sink down. Fish just materialize on it. That was pretty cool though, seeing that fish charge out, eh? Yeah. Yeah, the back of this one, there's fish in there, so we'll get in that gap. Get up in there. And throw forward then, fish the rock wall. Yeah. You gotta get up in one of these gaps, Cycle. Oh. Well you're in a shit spot. That's it, flick along in there, get it in there. Here we go, got him. Yeah, mate. Good fish. He's a good fish. Good brim. Oh, it's a brim. Yeah, good fish. Oh, he's a good fish. He's going deep. Stay out. Stay out. Oh, he's a good one. He's a good one. Oh, he's going back in there, man. Just back him out. Take your time. Gentle pressure, we'll get him out in the open here. Oh, he's a good one. Is that a brim? He's a good brim. He's a good brim. He is a staunch brim, mate. He is a cracker. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> He's a cracking brim. That's the kind of brims you want. That is a cracker. Get a load of that for a canal brim. Just on that unweighted BP50. He's solid. He's a good 800. He's not, he's no kegger, but that is a solid canal brim. Just on a four pound leader. It's that little Van Fook magic eye. BP50. So cool. I love that stuff. Just rip the slack out of that on the sink. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, I'll get him back. He's casting him. <laughs> you didn't even, you didn't even get up there. You didn't even, it's in. <laughs> you didn't even get up there. He's like, oh. Ah. You smashed me. I haven't got my camera on. Oh, this rookie. guy. Rookie. No, it's not even on me. I'm not even wearing it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's still rolling. Recording, still recording. It's rolling. It's just I'm not the wearing. Audio, I'm not wearing it. Come on, Solly. You got to cast. If you're not casting, you're not catching. Go off your rod tip and just put it in there. Bam. Bam. Slam. Bam. Yep. yep. You got it. Oh, you had it. See him? Yeah, no. Oh. If you'd have put it right where I said like that, he'd have eaten yours on the way down. Oh, look at them there, look at them there. Oh, they're happies. Yeah, I'm not worried about the crab. Oh, that was a brim coming at yours, Cybel. Big brim, followed you to the shoreline. Big brim followed you the whole way in. Are you on it? Oh, my Lord. Not yet, He's on it, bro. You're on it. So we're going back up to trip those pots. Yeah. Not the mud crab ones, just the sand crab ones. Is that that way? Yep. That's why we started there this morning, because we've checked the ones closest to the car. Oh, I thought we were living under the day. Is that just the Nah, man. You, sand crabs just move a lot more than muddies. Sand crabs are like really erratic. They're like unglazed. I've got no fucking idea where they're going. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we're back out here just to check the pots we set this morning. Uh, they've had a good soak, they've had a turn of the time, which has been pretty fruitful in the past, so yeah, we'll see how we go. Blades are uh, on the rope, so. Alright, Blades, I'm gonna put it on your side, mate. You're gonna grab him, and up he comes. Here we go, is that us? That's us, that's the money pot. Go, son. This is it. This is it. Bring it up. 
Yeah, two good ones. From nothing to two big bucks. Yeah. Good call, son. Shit, we're getting shallow here, boys. Just do an ant on and dredge it up, eh? How many are you calling, son? Five. Five. Five legals or five up all up? Five all up. Close. I see three, maybe one or two legals. Two probably. You got him, son. Oh, they're hanging out the side. Oh, that's your tag. <laughs> Nothing. What a rip off. It's right, it's right here. We're right yeah, we're closer to the edge now. That was the right side up, right? Yeah. Someone might have checked it, eh? The dogs. There's that little power fish will bet you. Wait, you do have a bunch of What people do? They flog your pots. Cheeky bastards. Where the crab? Yeah, I see one at least. Yeah, I reckon someone checked our other one. Cheeky bastards. Yeah, we'll take them. We'll take it, they will take it. Keep it out of here, we're going to have to. Yeah, man. They're gone. All of them. All of them. 40 crab gone. Oh, I'm wasting the crab. What do you need this door? No, no, no. That way we can feed them. Jack, please. Good boy. No, he's going to get eaten. Oh, oh is, that, is that a league? I think so. That's me. I've got to check. I've got to check this one. Yes. Did they eat them? Nah. Be scared of the crab. That's the end of that morning session. Um, no flathead, cut brim, got some crab. It's pretty good. My son had a ball. He said that's his one fish trip of the year. <laughs> no, I mean, that's us, I'll throw that together. You may see us pull the pots again, check those ones we put up the creek for the muddies. If we get any, I'll throw it on the end of this and you'll see that. And then, yeah, anyway. When we get them. Well, when, yeah, when we get them. Anyway, like, subscribe, comment, anything you want to know, guys, all that stuff. Cheers for watching. Catch you next time. Type of the dickhead.